Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here. Today I am going to be doing the Empyrean Rescue Quest in my attempt to have all 40 of the John Legendary Quests uh, on my channel. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to Craigstone and you're going to head over to the Lifestone near where the Shadow Spire used to be. You'll speak with the Emissary of Asheron, who will flag you to run the quest. Now, to do this quest, you have to be at least a knight in your society, but it's a lot easier if you're a master because you can use the master statues in your society hall. So from here, we're going to head to Freebooter, and we'll go from there. When you're in your society, you'll just use the Freebooter statue, or if you're not a master, you'll have to go to sanctuary and then run to the statue of transport which is going to take you here from the drop we're going to run to 54 south 96 97.6 east pretty long run oh we got chick -tain the tender let's go this quest is already paying off so you can either turn this head in for a title or um, you can use it for paragon weapons. Oh, I can only have one. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run another character out here. Does it say that on it? You can only carry one of these items. Awesome, I got it on Felseroth. Back to the quest. Okay, so when you get near the cords, you're gonna see this. This is for the bandit mana hunter quest. You're gonna run past that one to the next identical looking hole in the ground, and you're gonna go into this one. All right, so from the drop uh, into this cave, you're going to go in. It's a super short little cave, and you're going to go in the portal. Now, in here, there's a surface portal, and we're going to stick left until we find an apostate nexus master. Hopefully I stayed left there because I was looking at a different screen. I guess there's no dungeon map for this, which kind of hurts. That's okay. I added the Apostate Nexus Master to my Vsense, so it should make it a little bit easier. I have run this quest in the past, um, but this is a, a doozy of a quest for sure. Apostate Nexus Master. Here we go. Kill this. You're going to grab a Dark Apostate Shard, and then we're going to head back to Craigstone to the Emissary of Asheron. Okay, so we're back at the Emissary of Asheron. We're gonna hand over our Dark Apostate Shard. The Emissary of Asheron chants softly in an odd sing-song language. After a moment, there's a faint pop sound and the shard begins to glow and he gives you glowing Apostate Shard, which is on a 60 minute timer. A shard of concealed energy attuned to one of the Apostate Nexi. And then we're gonna head back to the same dungeon we just came from. There's so much running in this quest for no reason. All right, so you're gonna run all the way back to the same cave, down into the cave, into the first portal. Now we're gonna run through this dungeon again and we're looking for a sparkling portal. So that like uh, destroyed portal we saw running down has a chance, my understanding is it has a chance to show up as a sparkling portal. They're supposed to be in like fixed locations in the dungeon, but I think they're kind of I think that's where I came from. Just got turned around. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that they're working correctly or, you know, the chance is super low. So this may be a struggle. And 
we'll see what happens. But we're basically just going to run around looking for a sparkling portal. So there's a destroyed portal. So we need to find one of these that doesn't show up as destroyed. There's another destroyed one. There's a sparkling portal. Um, where is it though? Oh, so the destroyed portal turns into a sparkling portal and then we can go in. So we're gonna make our way through this dungeon. There's a bunch of gear knights, gear hunters, these types of monsters. You don't have to clear your way through this. 42 minutes. Okay, we're just gonna go. I'm not 100% sure the path that we're taking. We're just gonna go with the tried and true stick left. I added the uh, boss into my V-Sense. So hopefully when we get close, we can find them. Now it's possible in this dungeon for, I believe, sparkling portals to appear again. Okay, so that stick left didn't really work that time. Okay, stick right there. It's good to know. Down is usually a good sign. Guess we'll straight. So this is a loop. Let's try right. Yeah, I make the mistake so that when you're doing it, you don't make the same mistakes. I love the wiki directions on this though. It's just like, it's a maze. Okay. I guess if you if I cleared it would be a lot easier to tell like where I've been. Okay, so I think I need to make my way all the way to the left of this section somehow. There is like a little bit of a wiki map, but it's like I mean I'll show you. I basically want to make your way all the way to the northwest of this section. Until you get to a tunnel that goes east, southeast. Nice, I think I went correctly. Okay, yeah, Apostate Nexus Guardian showed up. There it is. You're gonna kill it. Do not go in the surface portals. There's two surface portals in here. Thank you. 
Now, what we're going to do is this guy's going to summon a portal, and you can tie to this portal. So that's what we're going to do so that this is an easier repeat. The Guardian has fallen. Protect the ritual. There it is. I'm going to try to tie to this. This portal cannot be summoned, but it can be recalled and it can be linked to. Okay, so this is the dungeon map. So the top left one is the first dungeon that you go into. This is the second dungeon. You can see it's a bit of a maze, but I did a crappy job following it. But this actually is a pretty good map. It's just not labeled. And then this bottom one should be the final dungeon. Okay, so from the drop, we're going to head in. Going to be a killable door. Going to destroy that. I want to refill my summons. Door resists your spell. I guess it's immune to magic. Why is a door immune to magic? Cool room with the acid and the bridge. Like the Philatikit temples. Okay, so there's our first pyramid trap. Okay, so you're gonna want to kind of turn and watch the pattern. When two hit is when we're gonna go. Oh, I think that might have been my chance. And there's all these little alcoves, so we're just going to wait for two to hit, and we're going to... Oh, we screwed it up. Wait for two to hit, go to the next alcove, wait for two to hit, go to the next alcove. That was super close. So intense. Okay, we need to get over there, I think. Okay, we made it. Now, if you see a sparkling portal, do not go in it. It's just going to take you back where you were before. So we're going to, uh, I think, just like wait for this to dissipate. There we go. It goes back to its original state. We're going to just run through this section. I think there are more traps, so I'm being careful. I just don't 100% remember. You want to go either, either way, shouldn't matter. Ah! <laughs> it scared me. I don't think that's right. Oh, yes it is. Okay, so you're going to want to, from range, clear the door. This quest is actually really fun, and I think that's what's so sad about the fact that you have to run so far, and there's so many, like, annoying mechanics. Can I not? I might not be able to kill this door with magic. I couldn't hit the other one. Why is this door magic immune? So you should be safe right in front of it. We can drop our summon on it. Maybe I can hit it with this. That's 
Okay, we're almost at the end. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Alright, destroy the rock wall to continue on. Okay, you're gonna get to this point where the last rock wall is and then the fight I think with the bosses is basically right below us. So we're gonna clear all this junk, clear all the junk, kill the last rock wall, definitely dispel. And so what can happen with this boss fight is that you can get smited, which sucks. So the undead commanders is what you're going to want to kill. That's what triggers the boss fight. And then after you kill the undead commanders, um, some named Phil Nuvetka are going to spawn. And those are the ones that can smite you. Um, so probably not the best strategy to just like jump down here. Which is a shame because it's a super cool area. Like, we're just like standing on like a floating platform. Summons are super helpful. Oh, we just died in advance. Oh, there's the rock wall that I'm now stuck inside of. This is probably not the best way to do this quest. Certainly the uh, fun, exciting way where there's a large chance that you'll die. Okay, once all of the undead commanders are dead, the Phil Nuvecta should spawn. There we go. Now, ideally, you would get your them to aggro your summons. Because, again, they can smite. Like that. Damn.
Die. Got everything respawned. Now where's the guy in the black robe? So when you kill him, you get a global. The intrepid adventurer Phoenix has killed the Philonuvecta Exarch. There's the Hiromancer. Nice. Not the cleanest, uh... Not the cleanest video I've ever made. Okay, once you kill those two, an engorged bloodstone is going to spawn. It's gonna clean this up a little bit. Alright, now that we've got that a little bit cleaned up, we'll kill the engorged bloodstone. Hopefully, it doesn't take me four hours to kill it. There we go. Deep under the shores of Freebooter Isle, the engaged, engorged bloodstone has been destroyed by Phoenix and their allies. The dark magics feeding on and holding the Empyreans trapped in portal space have faded for now. The portal in the alcove splits in two, revealing a passage beyond. Grab an engorged bloodstone shard, and then you can head through the broken portals. Jump across. Very similar to the end of Rinted Tentacle Weapons. Grab a legendary key. Three uses, and then there's a whole bunch of legendary chests around for you to use. Once you're done with the legendary chests, you can head to Craigstone to get the rest of our rewards. Once you're back at Craigstone, just head to the Emissary of Ashron and hand over your engorged bloodstone shard. Well, when I sent you to investigate the apostate activity on Freebooter Isle, I did not expect you to come back with a shard like this. You get 35,000 luminance, 400 million experience, an Empyrean overrobe, 32 trade notes, and then this cool cutscene where the Empyrean come out of portal space. Uh, they're weakened. All of you are back on Irith Lasell, your home. However, until my Lord Ashron has a chance to ensure your health, I ask that you allow me to transport you to a safer area. Pretty sweet quest. I kind of wish there was no smite on the boss, because I feel like then it would be a really fun boss fight. Um, but with the smite, it just kind of makes it annoying. So you really definitely have to have summoning to absorb some of those smites. A lot easier if you have a small group where multiple people have summoning so they can absorb the smites. But all in all, pretty interesting quest. One more on the uh, John Legendary Quest series, only a few more to go. So yeah, if you like this video, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.